Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the day of the video. How's it going today? Today, I'm holding you off at an angle so that you're not staring into the sun. Hopefully, that's better. Um, how's it going today? Today, we are rolling, yoloing into work again for a half day Friday, and it is actually a Friday today. And the wind is coming in from behind me, so we're gonna have to deal with that. Um, so, um, what is going on? I actually slept relatively all right last night. I woke up and I like, I woke up from a deeper sleep as opposed to like half being awake and then my alarm going off. Um, so I actually felt all right when I woke up this morning, which is good. Um, got ready, drove into work. Today we'll be trying to fix the issues we're having with live and the firewall. Hopefully once that's done, we'll realize everything's hunky-dory and then I can go back to doing my um, <laughs> programming for my own projects and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's basically the plan. It's really hot again today, so I've got shorts on, YOLO. Your battery's really low, but it doesn't matter because I've got spares now. So I may as well get every last ounce of you before I uh, change over, so to speak. But yeah, Friday today, weekend tomorrow. Try and plan what we're doing for the weekend, I guess. But I, I know we've got to get my hair cut because this is horrendous. It has been horrendous for about a week or two now, so let's get it cut. Um, but beyond that, let's see if we can do any uh, video planning for the weekend. Potentially blogging, most likely. If I can get a load of programming done at work, then um, I'll have a lot of time to do some blogging when I get home. So um, that will open up the opportunity to film a video. <laughs> right, let's get in there then, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting that nice, nice cool. It's it's only like nine o'clock in the morning. It's all it's already like if it gets any hotter than this, I get uncomfortable. And it's nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, this is as hot as I can comfortably take it and then beyond that. And that's why I'm outside as well. If I'm inside, then no. Flat out, no. It needs to be a lot cooler. Thought about just camping out where the aircon is. Just get tent, pitch it, stay overnight. What do you reckon? Well, or we could go to that snooker place. And at least then we've got snooker. But here we've got computers. We could bring in, we just download Steam. What if there'd be good gaming rigs? Probably not. <laughs> oh dear. I doubt they've even got graphics cards. YOLO, we don't do no graphics here, so don't need them. <sighs> Home time, ladies and gentlemen, and it's Friday. It's the weekend tomorrow. Happy bloody birthday. Today has been a relatively successful day, but I shall talk about that when I'm not getting blasted out by wind noise because I don't have my sponge. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. It is after work, and we're now, we're just going for a walk, basically. Instead of going to, um, instead of going to the park, I thought it'd be a good idea to just go for a wander instead. Like, I've got nothing to do with the park. Um, so I may as well just go for a nice walk. And I thought I'd go this way, because I never really go this way. I always go like the other way, towards town or towards Gloucester Road. I thought I'd go in the opposite direction. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on now. What's, what's, what's been happening on at work today, then, ladies and gentlemen? Today, old golden boys Malone over here. Hello. Um, what have I been doing? Um, I guess I organized the very first successful live deployment of the uh, transformation project which is going to be now live and deployed for over a year which is great and it, to be honest with you it's likely that it could sit and be deployed for a couple of years to come as well depending on how they decide to use it in the future it's only planned to be it's planned to be scrapped in like literally 12 months time but um they could end up using it for other things and if they do it's relatively naughty because it's not really designed for it but anyway um so yeah that's good. And also, some of the techniques I've done in order to deploy it may be used to deploy other things as well in the future, because I designed how it was being deployed. Maybe, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, so that's good. That was really, really good, and I emailed that out, and then half the big wigs even replied to the email saying, oh, this is great, da 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 and I'm like, I know it's great, I don't need the sales pitch about it. Jesus, the, uh, there was the, um, an email got sent by someone pretty high up, who's like, yeah, this is great, this is, great for the future of a nice, robust, reliable, efficient migration software tool. I'm like, you don't need to give me a sales pitch, mate. I know what it does. I've worked on it for the past four months. I've programmed the bloody thing. So, but anyway, that's by the by. Um, so that was deployed to live today, which is great. Can I hold a sponge like that, do you reckon? that do the trick? Who knows? I don't even know. All I know is I can't reach, I can't press the off button anymore if I do that. So what else has gone on today? I. Um, finished off my unit testing and stuff, made sure I had 100% unit test coverage. I had some issues because I needed to test 
like a loop and then I also needed to test a recursive function which didn't return anything so that was a pain um, but got it sorted in the end figured out a way of doing it um, that was an interesting one um, I don't think I, we haven't done a recursive function well I've done recursion before but never a unit tested a recursive function that doesn't return anything so it's kind of a weird weird use case that was so once I got that all checked in and deployed we did the deployment to live happy birthday it was lunchtime um, and then after lunch we had a big long two hour session about what we're going to be doing after this and like the design things that we need to keep in mind like brainstorming essentially um, and it was pretty decent actually and um, we had like this session where everyone had post-it notes and you go and put it on the wall in certain areas and stuff and I put up like three really good ones oh yeah and the other Lewis's did like nothing losers so there we go yeah I actually think it's relatively interesting like the steer that we're having but like, we've changed our test manager and like the direction that seems to be going seems to be good um, but yeah we'll see how it goes <laughs> there's like uh, get the impression that there's people like at a relatively low level who want to do things really really well but people at a higher level are just like well we want it now we want it in this time frame it's like our project that we finished they're like it's going live on this day there you go use that as a way to figure out how much how good the software is going to be which seems really weird doesn't it uh, like they decided the date and then they're like right there you go you've got that much time do the best software you can do instead of hey what's the best software you can do how long is it going to take that kind of thing so that's why i think the big wigs right up the top are doing but i think people at our level want to do a lot more our level and slightly higher want to do like a lot more and set up a much better process um, and that's basically what the old uh, discussion is about is like getting as good a process as possible essentially so that's about it for work came home nice relaxed drive back um I always, I don't know, Fridays are normally a day where I'm like, I'll put my foot down a little bit more. I'm not, I want to be able to walk around that cricket club ground thing, but it's not like it's possible. I'm just going to have to go double back on myself. I wanted to do a loop around that, but it's not happening by the looks of it. I think driving, sometimes it takes like quite a lot of willpower to like deliberately go a slower way or drive in a slower fashion, even though like like to there's like a balance you get between getting there quickly and getting there in a just a not very stressed way you know what i mean it's just like just seeing traffic like it doesn't matter i could go into that lane and do that and whip in there or i could i uh, know in this case i was in the fast lane coming up to a roundabout there's a roundabout where um you can be in either that lane or that lane to go straight on and most people pile into the fast lane thinking that that's the quickest way of going straight on um but it's not the left lane is and i'm in the fast lane um because uh, I essentially have to change into the slower lane from a from a previous roundabout, um, and I like could have quickly dived ahead, and I'm just like, oh, why not? Let's just stay here, and then we don't. It's just I've lost like five, like maybe like five, fifty seconds, maybe tops a couple of car lengths. That's about it. It's all I've lost by staying in this lane. You just stay nice and relaxed. That's the key. Any time I really get stressed when I'm driving is when. It's either like standstill traffic and I'm sat in the sun and I've got like no air conditioning and I'm just roasting. I get a bit stressed then. And I get stressed when people um, like drive around like idiots and just cut you up all the time. That kills me. It really does. I'm like, why are you such a wanker? And then they'll pull out into your space. So essentially like you're a, you have to heavily brake to dodge them. God, I hate that. I'm a Christian driver as well. I, I like, I'll let people go. You know what I mean? Like if I see someone struggling or whatever. Well, it depends. I think it depends heavily on the car they drive. If they drive an expensive car and they do that, I'm like, nah, do one, mate. If you drive a car like mine, like a cheap car or a little car, I'm like, yeah, come on. <laughs> come on over. I don't mind. Um, but yes, yeah, when you like deliberately don't leave them a gap big enough and then they go, oh, lol, I'm going to go in this gap. Oh, man, that kills me. Anyway, it's really warm actually. Um, I didn't go to the park because it wasn't very sunny. Um, but I don't know. I don't know about that. I might go and... Well, I've got a weekend to do that. I? I need to get my hair cut tomorrow. Mm. I've got pie and chips for dinner tonight. And it's not really the weather for pie and chips, is it? So, like, in that meeting, my wrists started to really hurt. Like, they just ached. 
And it wasn't until I got into the car and like used them a bit that they just like loosened back up again. They were like really stiff. It was really weird. I felt really old. Hmm. But anyway, I think it's too hot to go back to the flat now. Uh, got stuff to do this evening though. You know what I mean? I don't want to just slack off the entire thing because I've only got a two day weekend and I want to I wanna use it properly. You know, I can't even be bothered to go to the park. Um, time to make dinner though. Half past six now as well. It's quite late. Um, I'm in kind of a, like a dilemma because, um, like, it's better to. Oh, crap. That temperature. Picking a temperature when you cook. Like, pie and chips go so well together, but the cooking temperature between the two of them is so different. Like, 160 degrees to cook a pie, 220 degrees to cook, to cook chips. Why? God damn. Um, but anyway, uh, Chris Evans or whatever on the radio, they said um, it's a lot cooler if you just leave your curtains closed. Like I thought it would just get like musty. You open the windows behind the curtains and then you uh, just leave them closed. Like so, hence why it's closed. Um, problem with that is it's now hotter outside than it was at any point throughout the day so, so far. Because it's crazy backwards like that even though it's like nearly 7 o'clock at night. Um, so I'm like, do I, I don't really want to sit in the dark, but I also don't want it to get really hot in here. So I actually discovered that um, I've always been trying to open that window there so that I can get a nice breeze through. But actually, that's the window that opens. I've got that window, op these two windows open and that window opens. I don't think this one opens. Um, oh, it does. Well, there we go. And that one produces more than enough breeze. I think because like the wind is coming at the house, so that one doesn't really get anything, it just kind of gets deflected away. This one though, fwoof, blow my neck. Keep that one bloody open, all, to all bloody time. I mean, at one point we'll go all three tomorrow daytime, I think that's probably the best thing to do, isn't it? Otherwise though, ladies and gentlemen, I've had my dinner. Um, to be honest with you, I'm getting like a bit uncomfortable. A bit uncomfortable I am. Um, I'm contemplating like putting some Jimmy Jams on and having a glass of wine. And also having a shave. I'm gonna get my hair cut tomorrow. I think it's the best day to go and get my hair cut. So it's either tonight or tomorrow morning. I need to get some work done though. I'm not currently doing any work. I feel like that's because I'm uncomfortable. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, mate? You know what I mean? Get in here. Good evening all ladies and gentlemen. Um, the temperature in here has rather annoyingly kicked up. And the, the fan is on. Um, the annoying thing is of having the curtains done and the window, like obviously at night, I can't have the curtains open because I'll be woken up at four in the morning by the sun. Um, but at night, it literally just like sucks the curtains out, which is really quite annoying. I'd rather it blow them in and then I can have a nice cool breeze. But anyway, um, I decided not to have a shave because I don't need one till tomorrow. Um, so I just thought I'd do it tomorrow morning instead. And otherwise, I haven't done a lot. Because it's Friday and I never do. I need to figure out, like... I need to re-crack the whip is what I need to do. I just need to fucking whip myself. Um, what's going on with the weather tomorrow? Does anyone know? We will find out. Apparently it is going to be... Hot? Is that hot? 20 degrees? Cloudy! Which means humid as fuck! Yeah! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, ladies and gentlemen! Humidity tomorrow? Well, yeah, humidity now is pretty high as well. Uh, I hate humidity. Humidity is even worse than sun. I'd rather it just be hot and like sunny hot. Like Laura's coming back from holiday tomorrow. Yes. Um, <laughs> um, and she says, oh, I'm coming back and it's going to be like really hot and humid. And I'm like, it will be. Yep, you got that right. And that's exactly my point. She's going, she's coming back from holiday in somewhere hotter than here and she's not happy because it's hot here. Even though it's cooler, it's still hotter. Crazy stuff. So, um, I'm ending the video now. Um, tomorrow, I believe, oh, I need to get my hair cut, but it's also really hot. You know what I mean? I don't particularly fancy getting my hair cut when it's really hot. What's the weather like on Sunday? Sunday, Monday, happy days. Thunderstorms. Yes. Happy birthday, boys, get it in. Oh, yes. Thunderstorms, at least like once the thunder has gone, um, usually mean it's quite relatively cool. Rain, as long as that thunderstorm brings rain, I don't mind. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to town and get my hair cut tomorrow. Um, I'm probably going to be using 
my laptop to do some blogging and stuff and things. Uh, and that's basically the plan, I believe, tomorrow. Um, I don't particularly have much exciting planned per se for this entire weekend to be honest with you, don't get too excited, just expect long rambly vlogs of next to nothingness, what are you used to? Um, I may just be going out and just doing like generic random stuff, um, town, haircut, blogging, stuff, I don't know, maybe programming, probably programming, not blogging, uh, because I've fallen off the bike of programming. That's tr that's so battery, and that's supposedly because I've now, like the blog is supposed to be about how I've got out of the habit of blogging, but we'll see how that goes because I keep getting distracted by programming. It's kind of ironic. I'm gonna get going because your battery's dead and it's nearly midnight. So thanks for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen, and I will catch you later.